Hey girls, it's Coach Chrissy. This is your week five, day two drill, and today I decided to do it inside of the house. So if some of you don't have too much space or you can't go outside, maybe you can do this one inside your house. I set up a little obstacle course with two hurdles and two goals on the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to grab one cone and I'm gonna put it up here. If you don't have a ball, a squishy ball that you can use in your house, like a Nerf ball, which is what I'm gonna use, and I can also use my other balls if your parents let you, somewhere where it doesn't break anything, okay? So the first thing I do is I set my ball up here and I'm going to start back here. I'm going to go over the hurdles, one, two, dribble my ball around, and my camera girl is going to yell out um, brown or blue. Go blue. ahead. Blue. So I'm going to turn with my insides first. My insides, and then I'm going to shoot with my inside. Goal. Okay, then I set up the next one. I, I, I said blue. Again. I said blue. Oh, I thought it was blue. Blue. Blue with my insides, and I finished with my insides. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, so my other ball got in the way. Then I'm gonna try to do this at least 20 times, just a little obstacle. See how many I can get in a row. One, and rule it out. What color? Brown. Brown, turn with my inside. Oh, there's an obstacle in the way. And finish with my inside again. Here I go. One, two, pull it back. Blue. Blue, check my shoulder, turn with my insides, and finish with my inside, with my left. Oh, I missed that one. Here we go one more time. One, two, three. Brown. Brown. Turn with my inside. Finish with my inside. Ooh, I missed that one too. Okay, so that could be the first drill. You can, if you don't have hurdles like me, maybe you can use anything. Oh, a couple books that you have at your house. Maybe a different ball instead of this. Anything that you have in your house, be creative. And then go over it. And then you can come out here and finish with your insides. So the first one I'm going to do was with my insides. The second one you can do, I'll use a regular ball this time, I'm going to shoot with my laces. So now you can really see it pretty good. This big bone on the top of my foot is where I made contact with the ball. Right in the middle so it doesn't go up in the air. Right on that hard bone with my toes pointed down and in. So hurdle, hurdle, here we go. I don't know what color it is this time, but my laces. Boom, right into the garbage can, nice and easy. Doesn't have to be hard shooting right now, just to know if you're doing it correctly. So I'll do one more with my other foot. You can also jump over your hurdles any way you want. Two feet, inside turn, Brown. laces. And I finished right in the goal. So you can use your insides and your laces to finish on this one. You can also turn when you get to this top cone, so you have lots of varieties with your insides across your body and finish. You can turn with my soul across my body and finish. Or I can turn with my outside, outside. And then I use my soul. I mean my shoelaces, okay? So since I'm not wearing shoelaces today, it's the bone on the top of my foot. That's your first drill we're gonna do. Your second drill we're going to do is just going to use a couch or a wall maybe that you're allowed to use. I could use the wall or I could use the couch. I'm also gonna grab one of my little foam balls, sorry, to show you at first. So I'm going to practice my shooting. I'm gonna do 100 touches with my shoelaces and my insides. So my right inside, right inside. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, nice and close, eight, nine. Look at this, if the ball goes away to the side, look how I align my hips again, and I keep using that. If it goes to this side, I move my body in line with the ball. Then I'll use my left for 100 touches with my inside. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Look how I'm staying on my toes, my surface is open. I'm hitting the middle of the ball with the middle of my foot every repetition. Right? And I like to take a step in between. Step, pass, step, pass, step. Okay? Then you can try it with your laces. Laces. This ball's a little bit hard. It gets kind of stuck under the couch. Laces, laces, laces. Look, my arms are out for balance and protection. My toes pointed down with this tiny little ball. 
and I'm going to do 100 with my right and 100 with my left. Look how I'm doing it nice and easy, not to break anything in the houses, right? Try to keep your head up and your vision up. So you can use that. You can also practice your outsides a little bit as well. Remember, my toes are pointed down and in, down and in for my outsides, right? I'm using the front part of my foot to push it. Right when the ball is under my knee is when I give it some pa, a little punch, Coach Young likes to call it, and my left one, nice and easy. So you can do that for 100 touches. Once you do it very good and nice and close, maybe you could back up a little bit more, right? And we can do it again with our inside. Inside, makes it a little more challenging. You hit the corner of the couch on Inside with my right. So just nice little repetitions, right? You can maybe even do some of these ones sitting down if you saw our um, podcast the other week. Me and Coach Jan had a little couch like this and we just sat there and we tried some of these with our ball. Nice and easy. Right foot shoelaces, left foot shoelaces, right? And we even did a little bit of practice heading with some of these little soft balls, not your regular soccer ball because you're not allowed to yet. So in front of you, try to head it away from you. Maybe try to head it up some. Remember, it always hits your hairline, right where my hair is. And I keep my eyes open, up. So you can do any of these, just having the ball nice and easy in your living room with you, okay? The last one that we have is also another obstacle course. So I'm going to start with three cones. You could use, how about I use markers today? I'll grab a couple markers and pencils so we can use these instead. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to put one there, one here instead of the cone, and one across back over here. I'm going to put my goal in the corner. So we're still working on a little bit of shooting. So now I just made a little obstacle course in my house. You can do anything you want. You can be as creative as you'd like. So I'm going to dribble around this green highlighter, around that green Sharpie, around that pen, and then I'm going to try to shoot it into the goal using my inside of my right first. So you can do all four, inside right, inside left, laces right, laces left. So I dribble, I use my outside to turn, come back around quickly, and I'm going to use my inside to finish. Colasso, right? And then we go one more time. I'll show you with my laces, with my right foot laces. So I dribble around my little obstacles, nice little touches, nothing too big. And then I use my laces. Nice finish, Coach Chrissy. And the crowd goes wild. And the last one I'll use is my inside of my left and inside of my right. You can also try your outsides. So I'm gonna dribble with my left this time. Turn with my inside. Dribble around this one, turn with my outside and prepare it to my left so I can finish with my left inside. Last one. And you can try all of these 10, 20 times, whatever you have, maybe even five times each. Left foot, left foot, inside, dribble, inside, and my left shoelaces. Ooh, just missed. Okay, so these are some fun things you can do in your house if you have a little ball like this. I think I ordered mine online from walmart.com. Anything like that, it was a couple dollars. So this is a good one that you can use inside right now. Also, you can make any obstacle courses you like. So I'd like to see that if you guys wanna send me your videos of you doing it, okay? Great to see you girls. I'll see you tonight at seven o'clock for our Zoom meeting. And don't forget to send in your videos for your pizza party if you haven't done so yet. We're gonna pick a winner next week.